All right, today we're going to be diagnosing an oil leak and repairing it on 2006 through 2011 Honda Civic 1.8. I'm going to show you the car and we'll show you where we're leaking at. So I'm having, as you can see, all this oil build up here. And it seems to be coming from back here in this area of the head and running down. see all the oil coming down here first I thought it was one of these transmission hoses but it's actually engine oil and it seems to start right back here at the head I know it's not the valve cover because it's been replaced uh, not too long ago and it's clean up there it seems to be coming from right in that area kind of behind that blue plug anyway I wasn't exactly sure where it was coming from so i looked up an exploded view of the engine and the only thing in this area i can see uh is what they call a thrust plate for the camshaft and there is an o-ring on it so i just went ahead and ordered that o-ring it's the part number on it so what it looks like it's behind we we'll have to move this part of the harness out of the way and we'll probably go ahead and pull the uh the air cleaner box out to give us more room we might have to anyway and they were changing one of these, so I don't exactly know. So we're just going to start uh, ripping stuff out until we can get to it. All right, let's get started. Okay. Out of the way. Go ahead and uh, pull this stuff out. Alright, so next we're going to, you probably can't see it's kind of dark. It's going to replace the, uh, replace, remove the clamp. Alright, it's holding the box in. Two clamps. There's one on this um, hose and then one on the actual box. And factory, there's actually a this um, hard line is um, hooked up, but this car had an aftermarket intake on it at one point, and that kind of bypassed it. That's why this hose is here. I just never reverted it back to stock because it, there really wasn't no point. So in case yours looks different, that's why. So I got a couple bolts holding the air filter housing in. Oh, that's out of the way. Maybe we can see a little more. So, yeah, wow. A lot of oil buildup in this area. So, yeah, it, start, it was starting to get pretty bad. <clears throat> okay, so looks like this whole housing that this uh, harness is in bolts here and here. And maybe we'll be able to move it up, move it out of the way enough to uh, get to what we need to get to. Couple connectors back here on the throttle body. I'm gonna have to disconnect to get enough slack in the uh, in the wiring harness. There's one back here on the back side of the throttle body. It really is able to exactly tell what that one's for, but I'll get this one loose as well. Now I'm not the way. I'm gonna pull this 10 mil out, and hopefully we can get to it. So what I'm trying to do is disconnect everything associated with this bundle of the harness right here to get enough room to move this over. So there was one connector right here, if you can see, got it bolted here. And there's another one that goes, but this one goes down 
it can go down there somewhere. I don't really want to have to dig all into that if I don't have to. So I'm going to just kind of unbolt it and see if I can just get a little slack on there. Also, we got some going in here. It's probably, uh, well, I may route around here. Some of them might go to the uh, um, coal packs or whatever, but we'll try and get that stuff kind of loose and then um, this EGR loose. Then hopefully we'll have enough space to do what we got to do. Trying to get some white in here, guys. It's just tough in this area. We'll take all this over here loose if we have to, but we'll try not to. Okay, there's a it's clipped into this metal bracket right here. There's a little uh, tab to release, and then hopefully this will slide out of there, or not. I've had it more than one tab. Okay, I'm gonna try and unbolt this harness block down here to try and free up a little bit of space as well. Hopefully, I meant some slack not space. I don't know if that's gonna give us any more any more wiggle room, but we're gonna try. So this is what we're trying to get to, this two bolt plate right here. So hopefully I got enough room. I don't want to take everything on the engine apart. So we're gonna try and pull this back enough just to get enough, um, we'll get a wrench in there and pull that plate out. Diagnostic connector out right here, it'd make a lot of space.
probably can't see anything I'm doing. But I'm trying to work it out. Trying to get this bottom bolt out. It's just in that annoying area. Got it loose. It's had to work by feel. Okay, the bolts are out of the way. See if we can get this plate out. Should come out fairly easy since it's not sealed up too well. So it should and does, it's two different things. That's it. So let's remember this open spot was towards the top. You can see how flat that O ring is on it. So let's clean this up, change out that O ring, put it back in. All right. Okay, we're going to clean it up real quick. Tough. Yeah, definitely a problem. Okay. Should not be that hard and dry. This should be soft and pliable. So make sure that groove is clean. Stick our old one in. Doesn't hurt to leave it with a little bit of oil. I'll dribble a little bit of oil in there before we put it in. But yeah, let's go ahead and slap it back in. Okay, I've got some fresh oil on it. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Pretty easy to do. Uh, didn't take me about, I might have spent 30 minutes on it. Uh, really easy job. Seal, I don't remember how much it was. Might have been five, 10 bucks, I don't remember. But anyway, I don't know how good this video is gonna be. It was really hard to get um, just some good shots on this stuff, and especially the lighting wasn't that great, but if nothing else, hopefully it'll give you an idea of where it's located and what all it takes to do it. But, uh, if you got one of these cars with uh, it's a little bit older with some miles on it, you'll probably, if it's not leaking now, it probably will be in the future. Just something to think about. Anyway, hope you liked it. Uh, let me know if there's anything to add or anything you want to see. And um, if you got any more questions about it, let me know. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one.